Friday session, and today we have the March Divide. Jared Putnam's in our studio. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, congratulations. Today's the day, right? The today is the day. Big day. Life event. Yeah, so this is your fourth? Fourth. Fourth full, full length. length album, and yeah. what's, it, what's it called? Anticipation Pops. Very cool. And you're, it's not just the day of the release, and you also have the show tonight, right? I do have the show tonight, yeah. So the official celebration is tonight at Ventura. Yes. That's really cool. Uh, how long in the making was the new album? Uh, this one took a little longer than the last few because um, I didn't do it all at once. I kind of did it over. I would record a kind of a group of songs as I wrote them. And rather than going in and stressing out about a big body of work, you know, just kind of did one at a time. So a little over a year, honestly. And I put out some stuff kind of in between as I went as well. That was longer. And how, many, how many tracks? Uh, ten. Nice round number. Yeah. And we're going to hear some of those today, maybe? Yeah, two. To, cool. What to, are we going to hear first? Uh, first, I'm going to do um, uh, You Save Me, which is actually an older song, but um, I just kind of typically like to start with that sometimes. Yeah, so. Absolutely. Let's hear it. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> March Divide in the studio today, and that song was called You Save Me. You Save Me, and that's from a previous album. Yeah, it was on an EP called Plus One from 
few years. You put out a lot of music over the years. How long have you been doing this solo project? Uh, this solo project for right around five years. Five years. I started doing this. But you were playing music before then with the full band, right? Yeah, I used to be in a band called The Conversation from uh, El Paso, and okay. you know, did that for for years and years. But kind of stopped for a while and got started back up with this again. But I saw at the album release tonight, it's going to be a bigger... Yeah, I'm going to do full band uh, tonight, and I'm doing... Um, we're going to do a, little, a short little run of shows. We're playing tonight and here, and then tomorrow in Wichita Falls, and then uh, next Saturday we're playing at Hole in the Wall in Austin. Oh, nice. I was going to ask if you're going to uh, if you're planning to tour with the new album. Yeah, um, yeah, I pretty much tour full time. I was going to say, you tour all the time. Yeah, it's... Uh, how I barely pay my bills. So, um, <laughs> That's fantastic, though. So I do. I have a lot of a lot of tours on the books. We just had a baby, so I'm kind of on paternity leave right now. Oh, wow, so many congratulations <laughs> uh, in order. <laughs> thanks. Um, so we're you know have this weekend run. I've got a show next week, and then uh, I've got a, a decent run of shows this month, kind of around. But I start heavy touring again in October. Wow. So. And uh, do you do West Coast, East Coast, both coasts? Um, you know, honestly, kind of middle America, uh, nice. a lot of Southwest. Um, I have hit the West Coast. Um, my past project, I've actually been to all 50 states touring. But, um, oh. Alaska? That was pri well, my dad lived in Alaska, oh, okay. so I guess I was cheating. Sense. And he lived in Hawaii, <laughs> so that's cheating too. But, um, <laughs> but with this project, I, I do a lot of Midwest and Southwest and, uh, you know, a lot of regional. But I am I'm working towards getting more national, planning to go to Canada next year. That's and, fantastic. Uh, opening up more places, but I'm just kind of trying to sprawl it out, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, from the from the name of the project, you, you wouldn't necessarily know it's a solo project. Um, why did you decide to use a, a name instead of your own name? Two reasons. Uh, Jared Putnam is not a very rock and roll name. <laughs> so that is, uh, first and foremost, the main reason that I ended up coming up with the name. Uh, second, at the time, I had a job, um, and uh, they knew that I had done this for a living previously, and uh, I knew that they would be a little kind of nervous to know that I was getting back into it. And mm. uh, so I kind of wanted to procrastinate them knowing that I was doing it. And sure enough, I was right because they were had a talk with me almost immediately <laughs> when they found out that I was, you know, doing shows out of town and that kind of stuff. So, mm. And the name itself. Tell me about that. I wish I had a cool story for that. And I wish I had... As often as I'm asked, I, you would think that I'd come up with one. But really, honest <laughs> to God, I just needed a name, and I was Googling things that weren't already taken. There were a lot of cool names that I wanted to call this thing that were already well, taken. Well, it sounds so. mysterious, so. Yeah, well, thank you for that. <laughs> so. Okay, cool. Well, what are you going to play for us next? I'm going to play I Don't Care. It's. Uh, oh, I listened to this one. It's off the new album. I love it. And uh, anyway, I always get nervous playing these kind of things because I have no idea how many people are watching me right now. So it's like. Just me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably true. You're no. gonna have like a record low ratings from me coming on. No, so. no, I, I love it. I love the song, and and um, I think that the this sort of this song sort of encompasses like the theme of the album, from what I've heard anyway. There's yeah, a lot thanks. of this. It, I don't care, and I do my own thing. Sort of. Vibes. Yeah, it does. That's kind of what I, you know. That's actually why I put it first. Thank you for being yeah, intuitive. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> so, anyway, wish me luck. Here we go. Every night 
the March Divide in the studio today for TPR Live, and that was I, I Don't care. care, off the new album, Anticipation Pops. Tell me about that name, the album title. Uh, you know, I, for me, I was just really anticipating it coming out. You know, I, uh, nothing more than that. And so, because I had been working on it in stages, you know, and I was, uh, I was just really excited about it, you know, and... Uh, Kind of the direction that I took is finally kind of what I've been trying to do for a it's long different. time. I kept falling down these rabbit holes of, uh, like my old band was an emo band, so I was like playing with some of my friends, having them help me, and before you know it, we're like doing emo, you know, so it was yeah. just kind of cool to finally get focused on what I wanted to do, and so it was just the anticipation of, of being able to put it out, so. So your sound has evolved over the years then? I hope you, so. You feel like you're finally in the place where you're doing what you want to be doing? I do, I, I really do, I finally do, so I hope people dig it, and yeah, it's not just absolutely. some stupid experimentation. Tell me, pop, so. tell me about your songwriting process. You said you, you took your time with this one, is it just kind of as it comes to you, or how does that work? It is, but I do write a lot because I, I'm just constantly sit, sitting around noodling around, you know, and so... Um, um, the process can be different. Some songs are just kind of meaningless, you know. I like the way they sound, and so I just sort of come up with whatever. Or some are inspired by life events, or you know, those kind of things. But um, but yeah, it you know. But I do. I write a lot just because I'm constantly I'm real mm -hmm. fidgety, and so it's good to you know. I'm pretty annoying when I'm in a room with anybody because I'm just constantly all the time, you know. And so uh, so that's kind of how I, I'm constantly coming up with stuff. Cool. That, and so. obviously your wife's supportive of the music. I hope so. It seems yeah. that way so far. Or either that or divorce is expensive. <laughs> I don't know. It's one, of, one well, or the other. So It sounds like you just have your plate full. You also started a label recently. Yeah, me and a friend uh, from El Paso, uh, where I'm originally from, we started a, a label called Slow Start Records. And it's, it's actually, I mean, that's kind of what it is on the face. But it's a booking agency, a label, and a management company. And uh, we both kind of have our, our parts that we do and we work together. Like he professionally... Uh, in the business. He's a tour manager. He's a tour manager for Russian Circles and oh. uh, some other bands like that. And he's owned some venues in the past um, and manages bands, etc. And then I've done a lot of booking and work a lot with distributors and, and those kind of things. So together, you know, we're, uh, you know, as if we didn't have enough to do yeah, with our lives no, I, already. I, I wanted you know? to ask why now? So. Has this been like a, a <clears throat> thing that you've wanted to do for a while or is this... Yeah, and that's actually kind of how it came to be. Uh, I have thought about it in the past before and then uh, Luis as well had he had been thinking about it and um, he was managing me for a, kind of for a bit and uh, through that we had a mutual friend and I guess I never told him that I want to do a label but he just kind of popped it on the phone one day like hey man I hear you you're talking about doing a label let's talk about doing that and uh, hence the name slow start it took us about a year and a half to <laughs> actually it, start doing it um, but yeah I'm, uh, thanks for bringing that up we we have a band that we're real proud of uh, sleep spent from El Paso um, they are young uh, the front dude uh, Austin North he's like 21 sings like Jeff Buckley and they've mm. kind of got like a radiohead sound too just a really cool band that uh, you know, we've pushed them into doing it full time. They're doing really well. So kind of excited where it's going. Um, my album is the first full length that we did. I'm, of course, the guinea pig for That's really cool everything though. that we try first, because if it fails miserably, then, you know, we don't have to, like, go to a band and tell them, sorry, guys, <laughs> that, that didn't really work. Are y'all planning to, to accumulate more artists? Or are you we are, on yeah. Texas, um, we are. We're, we're looking around. Uh, we've got a, our eyes on a few Um so we're doing Sleep Spent, we're doing my album, but, you know, because of budget restraints, of course, we can't go too, too crazy, but we do have a, our eye on a few, and we are working with uh, some other bands on, on booking. For example, locally, Josh Glenn, the Josh Glenn Experiment, he's on tour right now with the tour that we booked for him. Um, so we've got that. So any local going. musicians out there listening, check out Slow yeah, Star Records. Yeah, please, check out Slow Star Records and send us your stuff. We're, we're looking for, you know, bands that will get out there and, and do the work, you know, we're... Are you looking for things in a certain genre, or are you open? No, to uh, no, we're we're real, we're open honestly to anything as long as it you know moves us and and like I said, more importantly, it's it's the bands that do, that are out there doing the work that yeah. uh, that we want to that we want to talk to. So fantastic. So let's get back to your music. What are you gonna play for us next? Uh, I'm gonna play spinning. Uh, it's off the record. I have to awkwardly grab my harmonica down here. So oh, that's awesome. Uh, I don't okay. want people to get excited. I'm not good at harmonica, but it's just <laughs> something well, let's, to, <clears throat> let's hear it. you know, fill it. All right. Here we go. I know you think I'm crazy. Well, I'm not crazy. I'm just kind of bored. And people say I'm lazy. 
Divide. This is a spinning off the new album that came out today. Today. Anticipation Pops. Congratulations again. That's just that's really awesome. Thanks. Sounds like you got a lot going on right now. Yeah. I'm busy. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to before we wrap it up, I want to talk of just like how did you get into music? Um, was this as a young kid or tell yeah. me the story? I was I was really young. I um, growing you know when I was like five or six, I had an older cousin that was into you know. Iron Maiden and stuff. I'm old. Um, so I, you know, of course, everybody probably has that sibling or cousin or whatever, you know, but I just thought it was cool. But it, but it really, you know, just kind of stuck with me. It was just kind of, you know, I was just into it, you know. Um, I learned how to play guitar when I was 10, and I just immediately started writing. You know, it's always been uh, what it was about for me is, is writing for whatever reason. And uh, so... You know, not even covers. I, I just wasn't even one of those people that could play. Like, I, I suck at campfires. I don't really know that many <laughs> covers, you know. Um, but I've, I've actually gotten better at that recently. But um, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Um, but yeah, at a, at a really young age, and I was a music major, you know, I was a band geek, music major. And, and so you went through all, all of those. Yeah, I, I did. I was really, I'm still really uncool. For, and because and of when it, did you so. play your first live show, like, with the band or solo or anything? Um, like in the sixth grade, my band played this like dare deal at, That's at awesome. school. Yeah, we played Inner Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was like that was like the first and fifth grade talent show. That was pretty bad. But uh, That's awesome. <laughs> so, you know, back then. But for real, you know, real shows and stuff in high school. Um, I grew up in El Paso and we did, there was a really cool kind of house show scene, you know, and so we did a lot of 
a lot of house shows in my my bad metal band back then. So, <laughs> so you've been all over the place genre wise too. Then yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> metal and wimp rock. You know, no in between. Um, so where can people? First of all, let's talk about the the show tonight. Is it at Ventura, mm-hmm. which is for anybody that hasn't been to the new iteration of it. It's the old Ten Eleven. Um, and it is an awesome venue. I love that spot. I do too. The room is like the perfect size, you know? It is. It's, it, you feel it's intimate, but you can also have a crowd. Yeah. I don't know. It can go both ways. Um, so you're playing, who else is on that build? Um, uh, Jacob Andrew is starting off and he's doing full band, which is cool. Oh. I'm excited to see that. Uh, Nova Lux is playing, uh, and the Please Help is also playing. Awesome rock always... lineup. So for anybody looking for an, a good rock show tonight, um, check out Ventura, the March Divides album release. And where can people find the album? Yeah, anywhere, anywhere you do that stuff. Take a All look. All the if, stuff. If it's not there, <laughs> let me know and I'll, I'll get it there. So. And they could probably just Google you and find you pretty easily. Hope so. Yeah, awesome. I hope so. So what do you got for us last? Um, cover. I'm going to do Manic Monday, which has been kind of a favorite at my shows these last couple of years. So why not, you know. Let's do it. <laughs> why not do that? Already I was just in the middle of a dream I was kissing Valentino by the crystal blue Italian stream But I can't be late cause then I guess I just won't get paid These are the days that you wish your bed was already made that it's the weekend now. That's my fun day. <laughs> I'm happy to do that for you. <laughs> well, this is the March Divide. Jared Putnam, thank you so much for being here today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and for me. good luck tonight with the album release show. And for anybody that wants to find you online, just Google the name, the March Divide. And uh, congratulations again about the album thanks. and the baby. Thank you. Awesome. Have a great day. You too.